All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. The rules ain't changed. Come on in, wipe your feet on the rug, throw some smoke in the atmosphere. I just lit up some lemon skunk, and I'm going to be smoking this for the next couple of weeks. Amazing. Lemon skunk. Sunshine for the soul. Back to business. First of all, I want to thank Luigi Muley for sponsoring today's video. LTC Nutrition and Performance. Check him out. DM him. Email him to join. Check out his website. Thank you, Luigi. Today's story is coming out of WPG Talk Radio. All right, salute to you guys at WPG Talk Radio. The link will be in the description box, as usual. Former New Jersey mobster Louis Bobby Manna, the former conciliator of the Genovese crime family, has been denied parole again. This almost certainly means that the 91-year-old will die in prison. Manna has tried twice in the past year to win his release. He had been behind bars for more than 33 years after being convicted in Newark Federal Court in 1989. Manna was a high-ranking leader of the Genovese crime family. He was convicted of placing a hit on John Gotti, the flamboyant New York crime boss, along with orchestrating the murder of another crime family associate. Manor was a Hudson County, New Jersey native, and he is serving 80 years in prison. Attorney Jeremy Landolo of Brooklyn, New York, filed an emergency court filing last month on behalf of Manor, citing multiple current health issues. Landolo also wrote that Manor also no longer poses any threat to society. I agree. Senior U.S. District Judge Peter G. Sheridan wasn't swayed and he denied the motion. He wrote that despite Manna's age and poor health, his lifelong career in crime warrants his continued incarceration, wrote Sheridan. Sheridan continued he was the leader of the Genovese crime family, a role he performed through violence and intimidation. His numerous crimes were extremely serious and heinous. As such, the nature and circumstances of the convicted offenses and the history and the characteristics of the defendant are important sentencing objectives that would not be served by modifying Manna's sentence. Landolo provide the court with two examples of men who were released from prison under similar circumstances. Landolo threw a hair Mary and suggested that Judge Sheridan was denying bail because Manna was an Italian-American. I believe it. Sheridan had none of that, writing, Manna's ethnicity does not factor into the court's decision. Manna's lifelong Korean crime leads me to a different conclusion than reached in the above cases. Had Manna won his release from prison, he wanted to return to New Jersey. Listen, uh, this is sad. The guy already did 30 years plus in jail. He's 91. He's been punished. You took you, you took most of his life away. That's what you wanted. You wanted to punish him. Let him go home and die in peace with his family and his loved ones. That's what I say. First of all, salute to Luigi Mealy for sponsoring today's video. Thank you, sir. Go check him out. Healthy C Nutrition. Health is wealth. Mob Story. Season 3. Short and to the point. That's how I like it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know what city you're smoking in. Big Rich Queens. We will talk soon. Business.